It was not by chance that this struggle came to be. The blame falls squarely upon my shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed, and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Raiden's Earthrealm champions had failed to stop the Deadly Alliance from fully resurrecting the mummified army of the Dragon King. In the end, only Raiden himself stood between Earthrealm and total destruction. Defying the Elder God's wishes, he alone challenged Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in mortal combat. Earthrealm's last hope for freedom. fought well against the two sorcerers, and it seemed as though victory was at hand. But the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a Thunder God. Raiden was defeated. The Deadly Alliance had won. Their victory was short-lived. As suspicion and lust for power overcame both Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, the former allies turned on each other. The deadly alliance was no more. defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And that ruler had returned. Fulfilled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. Death awaited all who stood in his way. was formed out of desperation. Sworn enemies joined forces to combat a greater threat. Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. only one chance left. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain, for the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Now Onaga has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat, born of deception.
Oh my goodness, that classic intro. What's up, Mortal Kombat fans? Welcome back to another video. And today we're talking about Mortal Kombat Deception. That's right, it is the 20th anniversary of Mortal Kombat Deception. It came out in October 4th, 2004. Yes, 20 years. It was developed by Midway and published by Midway. It was released on the PlayStation, Xbox, and GameCube, and later on the PlayStation Portable, which was renamed Mortal Kombat Unchained. But this game is the sixth installment of the Mortal Kombat series, and it is the It Follows Deadly Alliance, and it is the middle one before Armageddon. It is the 3D era, as people like to know it as. But right now, we're going to go through and celebrate this game by going through and playing it. And we're going to unlock an ending. As you can see, I don't have very many endings unlocked. So we're probably going to do Melina's ending because I have Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and Noob, Smoke. So we're going to go ahead and play Mortal Kombat Deception 20 years later. So drop a like for Mortal Kombat Deception. Drop a like for the Mortal Kombat franchise. And let's have some fun. Round one, fight! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah! <laughs> 
Because it was widely believed that Princess Katana had slain her many years ago, none were suspicious of the veil Malena wore to conceal her Tarkatan features. It was not difficult for her to assume the identity of the princess and take control of her alliance. To further conceal her deception, Melina gave command of the armies to Boraicho and instructed him to lead the attack against Baraka's diversionary forces. Baraka's militia had failed to divert the enemy and to her surprise was decimated by Boraicho's forces. She then realized that she was in control of the most powerful military force in Outworld and Edenia combined. She had finally achieved her true purpose, her destiny. But Melina could not continue her charade indefinitely, not as long as Baraka knew the truth. She ambushed him in the ancient beetle lair and fed him to a swarm of flesh-eating insects. All hail Princess Kitana. <laughs>